Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Rise of Empires Ice and Fire with me, Mr. Gil. Let's begin as we always do. Thank you so much for all of your previous likes, views, comments, suggestions, uh, messages on every single format that I have. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, we broke 1,500 followers, uh, subscribers, and that's absolutely awesome. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about uh, troop enhancement. Is it worth it? Um, now, before we start, I want to start by saying that your there's going to be many very variations in this and so you're going to have to work this out yourself i'm simply giving you a kind of overview here um obviously the speed at which you train troops uh how much it costs you to train troops etc etc will depend on how many encampments you have what level the encampments are obviously an encampment increases training speed the amount that can be trained etc etc so this is purely a quick overview you will have to kind of do the sums yourself um, but i have got a lot of questions about whether or not uh troop enhancement is worth it now you can start en enhancing troops once you research it uh it's, it's relatively easy to get to i can't remember where it is though is it in the legions no uh i think it's in here cavalry training isn't it Onslaught Enhancement, there we go. So once you get to this enhancement, you are able to enhance your troops. Um, you should be able to get here relatively easy. Now, I got there when I had tier seven troops, so at castle level 19. Um, uh, and I definitely did go down the route of enhancing all of my cavalry to be slightly stronger. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Um, I did this because I knew that the three levels to get to castle level 22 and hence tier 8 troops I knew I was going to be taking my time I wasn't in a rush and I knew it would probably take me I think it ended up taking me about eight or nine weeks probably even more actually yeah probably even more um, so it was in my view advisable to have slightly stronger troops in that time because the time was it was going to be so long however if you are rushing your castle so if you are going to get to castle level 22 within a few weeks um, i don't know whether the troop enhancement would be worth it however let's have a quick look at it so to enhance a troop is relatively easy you come into here you go to troops if you can enhance the troop it'll have this little strong muscle arm muscle arm <laughs> it'll have a bicep <laughs> there and you can see here that to cost the cost of enhancing is gold uh, and we can see also how much it improves so enhancing uh, my tier 7 knights would give them an extra 6 in attack and an extra 2 in defense no more HP and no more marching speed um, now that is roughly what is that so that is 67 attack let me write scribble this down 67 36 13 and 27 okay so that is roughly half i think of what a tier 8 troop has let's see can we see a tier 8 information there okay so a tier 8 is 67 uh the defense is actually 47 hp is 15 and marching speed is 26 why did it go down i wonder if there's a different thing there marching speed is 26 strange okay that's fine okay so roughly speaking it gives us the same amount of attack as a tier 8 uh, but it definitely doesn't give us the same amount of hp or um, defense in fact the defense is where you really lose uh, with enhanced troops it is nowhere near as much as a tier 8 so we can kind of think of enhanced troops as maybe tier 7.3 type of thing you know this is tier 8 and these guys are somewhere in between tier 7 and tier 8 but they're not really half because they're missing that massive defense so they're kind of like tier 7.3 7.4 let's say something like that um, now obviously as I said you know these figures are all kind of in my head and I'm just making stuff up um, but we can see that the cost for me oh sorry for a lot my phone is beeping bang Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thought I turned it off. Um, now you can see for me the cost is 687.1 gold, uh, thousand gold, 687,000 gold uh, to train six, 7,635. Wow, saying numbers out loud aside. That basically gives me a cost of 89 gold per night, per enhanced night. Yeah? Now, is that cheaper than training the tier 8 troops themselves? Um, 
The answer roughly is yes. However, obviously we're not getting the same uh, kind of benefit there. So for 89 gold, I'm gonna get 7.3 tier troops tier 7.3 roughly um, if i wanted to train basic tier 8s that's going to cost me 482,000 wood 241,000 metal now if you roughly work that out at trading house prices and again guys this is all different for you you're going to have to look at it yourselves because it depends on your trading house level and etc etc and what buffs you might have activated on this but if we look at trading house prices if i was going to sell that amount of lumber if i was going to sell that amount of iron how much gold would i be getting if i was going to do that i would get uh what is it for one piece of wood i would get one no for one point one gold i would get 1.3 wood and for one iron i would get for one gold i would get 1.34 iron so just to repeat that if i was selling at my level with all the buffs and things that i have i'm going to get 1.3 lumber per gold and 1.34 iron per gold so basically that's going to give me a figure of 105 gold per t tier 8 troop in order to train them so what is the point of that and does that actually help us no, not really. <laughs> not really at all. So basically, what's that telling us is that to train a tier 8 troop, it's going to cost us uh, 5, what's that, 11, it's going to cost us 16 more gold than to enhance our troops. Um, enhance our tier 7 to tier 7.3 or whatever we're roughly saying. So in terms of that, in terms of pure kind of gold monetary cost, it is definitely better to be training tier 8s. So, what conclusion can we draw from that? Um, not many conclusions, but we can draw a couple of things. A, if, and we go back to what I said at the start, if you think you're going to be stuck on castle level 19, 20, 21 for a while, uh, and I would say definitely over a period of more than six to eight weeks, then I would say enhancing some of your troops is a good deal. For about 89 gold, I think that's nothing wrong with that, uh, and it will give you that slight edge potentially um, in any little conflicts that you might have. However, once you get to a certain level, and once you get to castle level 20 tier, 22, it is obvious that tier, training tier eights is the far better and cheaper way to go. So, what should you do? What I would do if I was you is work out exactly what your your strategy is. So, if you are a raider and you are constantly raiding and hitting people, having tier 7.3 uh, for a few weeks is probably going to help you. You're going to be able to carry a bit more, you're going to be able to uh, defend a little bit better, and you're going to be able to attack a little bit harder, which potentially will reduce your wounded cost, uh, which then is a saving that you might have. Um, if you're a farmer and you're not really attacking that many people in general, um, and maybe you're not even in a reign of chaos at the moment, um, then I would suggest that uh, enhancing your troops is probably not worth it at all. So. <coughs> That is kind of that, you know, as I said, it's a little bit hard because everybody is going to be different depending on their own en encampment levels, or their own buff levels, etc, etc. But the basic gist of it is, is that if you are going to be on a certain level below castle level 22 where tier 8 troops become available to you, then enhancing is possibly a good idea. Now also something to note is that to heal enhanced troops, you also have to spend the gold. Um, now. It really depends. I mean, gold for me at the moment is something that is relatively easy to get. Uh, it's getting a little bit tighter now, but I definitely produce enough. I mean, I haven't even sold half, not, nothing of the ale I have. Um, I definitely produce enough ale a day and food. I've got hundreds of millions, 216 million, yeah, that I could definitely be selling a lot more of that and having a lot more gold. So I would say that it is potentially a good thing to do for any castle level 19 out there is to start enhancing your troops to give you that little extra edge before you get to castle level 22. Uh, now it is um, important to note that I don't believe yeah it is quite hard to uh, upgrade these to tier 8 so you need to research something uh, else which I haven't even not researched yet let's have a double check what that is it's gonna be here isn't it down here cavalry training uh, cavalry promotion three it's going to take me quite a while to get there so having those tier 7.3s is actually kind of annoying because i can't promote them uh, but what i'm going to have to do is kill them off probably as i get more and more tier eights anyway 
that's just a little bit about the troop enhancement because I've had a few questions about it. Is it worth it? Is it not? I'd say again, it's a personal judgment depending on your personal strategy. Those are some of the little numbers that I did. It is slightly cheaper to enhance than it is to train tier eight. But at the end of the day, once you've got access to tier eights, you should be training them as much as possible. It also reminds us never, 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 never forget your encampments. Uh, they're quite important actually. And they give you over time having that extra you know, 1% here, five, 5 extra troops trained is actually quite useful. I haven't done a lot of training on these guys, and I should be upgrading a lot more, I think. I might get onto that. Um, cool. That's all we're talking about today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please check the descriptions below if you want to join the Patreon, or uh, look at my Instagram, or Twitch, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Uh, but thank you so much, guys, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.